Hello everyone, welcome back to Kubar's Adventures in Dark Souls. As you remember last time, we got the other Firekeeper soul, you know, got a few, few other things. And uh, now we're gonna go get the best early weapon, in my opinion. And yes, I'm well aware a lot of people make the argument, le argument that because it's Dark Souls you should do things the hard way, but just because it's a difficult game doesn't mean you have to play it the most difficult way. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, this is how you get the Drake Sword easy. You get an arrow, and you shoot several times, missed twice, at his tail. Eventually, it'll just pop off. Now, mind you, in order to do this, you have to have enough dexterity to use the weapon. There we go. Yeah, the first time I tried this trick, I was using a pure strength character. And it did not end well. Yeah, so I could sneak two in there. Yeah, I did, I did a lot of experimenting for this. And, I, and that's why I've come up with the idea, it's like, because it's early on, or, and it's not too difficult for any playstyle, you could uh, conceivably just start with... This is the easiest way to start the game, in my opinion. Now, if you just want the super challenge, obviously, I don't know, you pick Deprived. I think it's Deprived for this one. Not a waste of skin, I know that. That's dark, that's Bloodborne. Which, eventually, we'll get to. Ah, Bloodborne. I have fond memories of that. I don't know, I think I'll... If I ever actually get to the end of this... End of these, I'll g give some sort of analysis over which ones are my favorite. Yeah, this, this part's tedious, and, uh, like I said, I'm recording this, so I'll probably trim this part down. But because I'm do There we go! Now we go over this way. And there we are. How much strength do we need to use this one? Hold on. We need a uh, toggle display. We need 16 strength. Alright. Like I said, I, could, I thought you needed 15 strength. I was wrong. So now all you gotta do is run around a little bit and kill things. He's not here. Uh, we might be able to just rush our way up there. If he's gone. Let me see, how do I want to handle this? Get an easy few. Yeah. Easy way out. Alright. So yeah, I'm definitely going to cut down a little... I'm going to try and trim this a little bit, and I'll tell you where I'm making the trim. And I probably should have put a timer up.
Anyway. Hey, everybody. We're back again. And just a, well, like a couple minutes grinding. Now we have the Drake Sword. And we're still moving pretty quick. And as you already know, you're going to cut through things like butter right now. Like I said, this enab this build enables you, I say build, this uh, early game enables you to do some pretty good stuff. Assuming you're not dumb like me. You're going to be able to cut through most enemies without trying early on. You're still quick, so de again, again, depending on your playstyle. Like, if you're... Like even if you are one of those sword and board types, you know, heavy armor, the whole, all that shenanigans, this is still going to work because you get a shield very quickly, so you can just stand behind that. You get to move quick enough, and I've learned a while back that speed pretty much tops a lot of things. Not like... Empirically so? Is that the way you said, is that the right word to use here? Mm, let's keep it simple. Not unquestionably so. You're not gonna be going through this. Like speed is not uh, the not the single best, oh my god, I cannot live without speed type of thing in this game. But it certainly helps early on. This part I just like doing. And let him come closer to you. Pillage that body. Let's see. This is going to be this one. I don't know if that one's going to come running down yet or not. There you go. Easy. You see, now remember when I was having a little bit of trouble with these guys earlier? Cut through them like butter. Get that longsword. Useless to me now, but we'll leave it for now. Leave it. Now this one. This guy will ob will horribly wreck you. I mean, sure. All you, to beat him, all you gotta do is keep like dodging to the right. That's what I found anyway. It works. Just drag him all the way back here. He's going to come after you. And as long as you... Do this two times. Maybe three, depending. Okay. I kind of let that one happen. I got greedy. There you go. Easy. It works. Got 2,000 souls out of that deal. A chunk. Didn't get his weapon, though, which annoys me. Why do you, like, I do like how early in this, like, they, they branch out a little bit. Like, you have a couple of ways you can do things to get to get to the like first bell of awakening that the guy that the crestfallen dude talked about, you can just. I mean, if you have the master key, there's a bunch. There's a whole bunch of other ways you can go, but for now, actually, I think it's kind of funny. Like they give the thief the master key, which thematically, yeah, why would a thief not have the master key? But still, it's like, all right, you're not going to be the toughest, so we're just going to cut out a whole bunch of stuff. That's a little, that's that's difficult, and you can go the short, you can go shortcuts. That's Havel. Now he, from Havel, we're going to get the single best ring in the game, in my opinion. Do this a few times, because even with this amazing sword, Havel still, well, 
hard as a rock. Hence his name, Havel the Rock. Annoyed that we don't really, really get to, like, you know, like, summon him for any fights. Unless we do, I just don't remember it. Or they added something. Wait till he strikes. Cause, uh, bait it. Come on, Havel. You know you want to. One or two more times and we're good. Oh. Yeah. I didn't say he was easy. I said he's manageable. Just like the, just like with the Dark Knight. And yes, I am definitely going to go back and try and take care of that that business. them out. I can actually just blitz past all of these. I don't even have to go up there. Could if I wanted. I don't want to. Come on. Come on. Basic. F basically hot gate style. You know, say what you say say what you want about you know um three hundred. I think most people said it was good, but that is actually very, very smart. This if they all come at you through a narrow tunnel, it doesn't matter how many there are. If you ever if you play the new God of War game, Kratos actually says it. Since the, at one point they're fighting a bunch of enemies and they have to go on a single narrow path, he actually says that narrowly their numbers are mean nothing. All right, let's try this again. I believe it was, oh, was up here where some of record my uh, stuff is. Yes. All right, let's try this again. Huh, looks like it's doing less damage than it did the first time. Thing with Havel, it's a patience game, and I have and I did this exact strategy with not the drake sword it takes a long long time all right he, he he's he, he's wise to my act now he's got to bait him out keep a distance He, okay, if he backs up to the wall. It's kind of funny, you're like, stabbing him through his shield. And I remember some games that actually matters. There we go. I think it was, yeah, Resident Evil 5, if you have the big Gatling gun pack then uh, what it does is it actually lowers the damage you receive if you get hit from behind. Yay! Move faster now. That it... Actually, let's look at it. Let's toggle thing. Toggle stats. Boost maximum equipment load by how much? Yep, still the same. By 50. So, now we're good. Now remember, there are a couple of ways. And actually, that's really just making the early game easier. That that is the end of the end of it. I'm gonna go to the bonfire. Uh, I don't really need to go up there, but why not? What's the worst that's gonna happen if I do? 
And he died. No, he didn't. I think he just fell. Done. Huh, can you get up there? Don't know. Once you get the Drake, yeah, once you get a couple of these extra early items, you get the Drake Sword. There's nothing else you really need. Now, I'm going to start upping my vitality. It's going to need some more of that, and my endurance. Because we're going to start want to start equipping, like, heavy armor soon. And, uh, it's a, holy, oh, no. Yeah, that's why you couldn't go up that way. Now, as you know, when you go, coming in here, you know what? All right, that's pretty much it. That is my, King Kawar's guide to make the early game easier. Quick roundup: pick the thief class, get yeah, and get the old witch's ring. Well, that's optional depending on lore. Then just skimmy around, get the Drake sword, rush in, get the two fi early firekeeper souls. The next bit is that's it. Sorry, this is a little ram rambling. Oh. But, um, yeah. That's the basic summary. Thief class, get the two early Firekeeper Souls, and the Drake Sword, and the Shield. If you want to stay, if you want to stay quick, quick, then, well, you can be by using the, by, still by using this, but definitely pump your strength up to get the Drake Sword. Before long, it's going to become obsolete to you when you start scaling, but, yeah. Anyway. That's it for that's it for my making the early game easier, at least marginally. All right. So, until next time. Thank you. See you soon.